don't mind me. I look like crap and I'm literally in a towel. I just got out of the shower. But today is my last pre-op appointment and I just wanted to document this. I'm freaking nervous. I'm freaking scared. I'm probably going to have to get a huge Q-tip shoved up my nose and into my brain for COVID testing, which I don't want to do. Um... Ugh, I'm so nervous. I don't know what he's gonna say. I'm, I'm nervous because I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get the sleeve anymore or if it's gonna have to be the gastric bypass, which I've not really done too much research about because that's not the surgery I wanted. But he thinks that he may have found a little bit of gastroparesis in my stomach when he went and did the, um, the upper endoscopy thing. So today will be a lot of questions being answered and a game plan and getting all of my medication for after surgery and probably getting a q-tip shoved in my nose i'm out of breath because it just ran across the house but i will try to update you guys i'll either try to get a little clip of us going into the doctor but they have like a weird procedure where i have to call them outside or if i don't do that then i'll try to update you guys later well, that appointment did not go as planned. I spoke to a PA there at the doctor's office today because my surgeon was out for some reason. Um, and they're recommending that I get the bypass instead of the sleeve, which I'm upset about because I really wanted the sleeve. That's what I've been researching and going towards for over a year now. And I haven't really done any research or anything on the bypass. So I'm really nervous and I don't know how I'm feeling. They said they're going to give me the weekend um, to think about it and come up with a decision on Monday and then I have to resubmit everything to the insurance company to get approved for the different surgery because I've already been approved for the sleeve um, but now they're wanting to like I said change it to the bypass. Um, they said that I need the bypass because when they did my upper endoscopy, um, they noticed that I have gastritis, um, and inflammation of my stomach lining, which they said with the sleeve, it, it'll make things more difficult and I'm going to be more nauseous and not be able to hold food down. And I have a little bit of, um, gastroparesis where my stomach, the bottom part of my stomach isn't working fully. Parts of it are paralyzed and a hiatal hernia. So they're gonna have to fix all of that. Um, they did, like I said, they said that I have some gastritis, which they did um, biopsies on and it's not Barrett's yet, but they said that it could turn into that if I don't do the bypass, which the bypass they're saying is gonna get rid of my reflux disease because I have GERD currently. And they said that, that should get rid of it. And come to find out, the, this whole time like for years I thought that I have IBS because my stomach hurts anytime I eat like I have a lot of stomach issues but come to find out it's because of the gastritis that I have it's not IBS at all it's because my stomach is so inflamed that when I eat my stomach hurts so a little bump in the road but <sighs> mm, we'll get through it there's just more complications that could come from the bypass and it's a lot more invasive and rerouting a lot of intestines and things I, but that compared to a life with the consequences of being obese kind of outweighs that so we're just gonna go for it find out what happens <laughs> I need to do a little more research and because I like I said I spent over a year researching and you know convincing myself that this the sleeve was the right choice for me and now that's not an option so we'll see where this journey goes um i should have a surgery date soon and then i'm going to be pumping out a lot more videos um because i'll have more to video i'm also going to be uploading my um egd experience my upper endoscopy uh, experience and I might add like a little clip that my mom got of me coming out of the anesthesia it was crazy and oh my gosh but 
if you want to join the Brooks fam and continue to watch me on my weight loss journey and to keep up with everything that I'm doing here soon, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and leave any questions or things that you would like to see in the comments down below. I am going to be doing, um, like I said, the surgery day videos and then I'll probably do weekly updates um, and then like what I eat in a day on certain weeks, things like that. So just uh, anybody out there that's thinking about getting the surgery, you can kind of test run it through me. I know everybody's different, but we'll get through this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.